and I shall count thee among my favoured sheep, and you shall have the protection of all the angels in heaven. I did that too slow. If I would have got that like two seconds sooner, mm-hmm. it would have said now recording like, cr- oh shit. Mm. Does that make you feel like river dancing? Kind of makes me feel like river dancing. Yes. There you go. Well, with all three of us here, I don't know. Yeah. I kind of wanted more here to talk about Boondock Saints, but even the other two just chicken the shit out. That kind of sucks. Uh, well, who the- were the other two? Angelus and Dirks and the all the above. So young at, K Square so young. says, I'm sorry, I'm stuck at work. I just saw all these messages. I know, I saw that, but that's a little bitch move. Uh, What's this about glory? That's, that's, that's You need to go into the bathroom with your job and turn on your Discord. That's what mm-hmm. you do. Be like, yeah. sorry, I uh, I gotta go on a uh, hour break. Exactly, mm-hmm. and you just mute, you just mute the mic whenever somebody flushes the toilet, and you're totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> William Shatner is ninety one, and he confirms he doesn't have long to live. That seems kind no of shit. stupid. Yeah. Yeah. What? Okay. Uh, now what you yeah. Did you hear about Alec Alec Baldwin scoring a big victory over that rust issue? Oh, so he's not going to jail now, and he's no. free because yeah, he's he going to pay him. Island. Because he's yeah, gonna, uh, famous, he's going to pay everybody off. Well, no, yeah. anybody who went to Epstein Island is uh, above jail time. So uh, I wasn't yeah. going to say uh, that much. <laughs> well, I, I go, all, I go all the way. I don't, I don't, I don't hold. He could have faced up to eighteen months in prison if he lost his trial. But I mean, <clears throat> I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> excuse me. I mean, uh, the personal injury stuff or whatever. The what civil cases are really going to kill him though. That's all. My, I really want to know what really happened on that set. I do. I would like to know if there was some weird love triangle gone wrong or something. Mm-hmm. Because I just don't buy what I'm being sold. Sorry. Mm-hmm. So. Because that director was pretty hot looking. I was like, God damn, that chick's pretty hot for a director. Hmm. And he's all old and shit. What if he got turned down? You never, right? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> seriously. Yeah, I I'm see sorry. that was I, a lot of things they talked about that because he had a personal, um, you know, uh, relationship really, with yeah, her. Yeah, yeah, I heard that. I'm like, what the so fuck? he probably yeah. was, yeah, banging her until her husband showed up uh, on set, and then it was like, oh, we can't do that no more. Was, yeah, what if she she did it one time and was it died down with it the second time? He's like, oh, yeah, fuck you, you know, you never know, mm-hmm. man. Sorry, I think like that, so. Yeah. The world is not what it seems most of the time. So yeah, it's a it's a big uh, it's a big puzzle nerve there, there, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I got I'll stand thing. by it. <laughs> no, I'm with you on it because I agree. Because I mean, you could it, clearly you could sit there and go, it's the prop master's fault, right? The gunsmiths uh-huh. or whatever her name was. I not her title. Uh-huh. I meant uh, <clears throat> because that's what happened to Bruce Lee, uh, uh, Brandon Lee. Um, uh, in the movie The Crow, it was the fun boy uh-huh. scene where he's in the bedroom. He goes, you know, puts his hand on the gun and it sh- shoots a hole through his hand. And he's like, ha 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 ha, and then does the joke. When he's doing the joke, that's when the actual thing happened. And it was uh pieces of a blank that were in the barrel that never got cleaned out, and that's the prop master's fault. Same thing with this one. She they were target practicing with these old real guns, and then said it was you know they yeah. So we we all know the story, I guess. Yeah, that's I'll show wow. <laughs> so, guys, you want to talk about the uh, the Russians that downed our U.S. drone by dumping it? It, it like dumped its gas tank on it and crashed it. No, I was going to talk about fun facts about St. Patrick's Day, but okay. Oh, go ahead. No, no, let's talk about St. Patrick's Day. I'm so sorry. <laughs> the real St. Patrick was born in Britain. <laughs> Actually, it's so, fun. Wait. Uh, Hmm? Well, see, he's not even Irish. <clears throat> well, here's the fun thing, okay? There was many St. Val- Valentinas or Valentines, however you want to pronounce it, 
over in history. If you listen to our early, early, early ass episode from 2000, Bubba, you will hear like I talk about there's, yeah, there's multiple St. Valentine's Day. Now, the thing about St. Valentine's Day or St. Patrick or whatever you want to call him, uh, there was many of him throughout the years. Um, and so it's like stunt doubles, it's stunt doubles, yeah, people just named Patrick to the Saint. I don't know, whatever. But the oh. biggest one was in uh, 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 BC uh, or AD. I don't know. And um, just listen to my old show. What the hell does that. that actually mean, BC and AD? I'm uh, still before Christ and after death. No, that's not. Christ. No, that's not what it means. Yeah, it that's is. Not what it means. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is. No, BC stands for. Hold before on. Before Christ. Yeah, it's before Christ no, and it, after death. No, 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 no. It, it, guys, hold on. BC. Here, I'm looking it up too right now. All right, who gets to it faster? Whose fingers are faster? <laughs> Apparently not mine, because there it is. Okay, before Christ. BC stands for before Christ, and AD stands for a new dominia, which is oh. Latin for in the year of our Lord. A new dominia. So, <clears throat> it is after Christ, but I mean... No mm. wonder all the rest of the world uses the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, moon calendar, because, yeah, that's so... The religion, nights. yeah, yeah, because no, seriously, the uh, the Muslims they use the uh, you know, the, the moon phases calendar, and so does China yeah, and so does India, yeah, because they don't believe in Christ, no, they don't. So, but uh, Saint Valentine or Valentine is um, that's where your Valentine's Day cards come from because he was imprisoned, something about a 16 year old, oh. and they exchanged love letters to each other other in card you know specially made cards so there you go oh, wait wait God. wait rewind wait what <clears throat> he said 16 you heard it yeah it was some well, weird it's, then, it's a long then, story guys but back some... then they did that yeah, yeah. They, they got together younger at younger times uh kidnapped irish raiders sold as a slave a celtic priest in northern ireland i don't know and they fell in love i don't know it's a lot of talking so it was a master and slave relationship? I don't know. Maybe. I mean, for for the for a man of the cloth. I mean, I mean, I'm no Doctor Phil, but that's probably not good. Well, they keep truck trucking away. I guess the priests do now. So I don't know. That's so we all know the uh, thing about uh, so what is it the the uh, the piper getting all the snakes out of Ireland? Oh, I have yeah. a screen recording too. By the way, Polly. Oh, do I need to be on the screen? Do we have to be? Hold on. Let's see what we got here. Do we have? Do we have visual? Let's see. Should I turn off a lot of stuff? Yes. Hey. Close window. There he is. Close window. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. How's everybody doing today? You missed the Fergie was just on camera. Now she's back right over here. Fergalicious. Let me take off the like iTunes. Fergie. That's killing. Hey, Joe, you got me tripping, stumbling. Okay. Uh, so they talk about no, the that what was that? The guy who led all the snakes out of out of Ireland. Uh, apparently that was Slytherin. all. Hmm. <laughs> Slytherin. Uh, apparently that was all bullshit too, because there's no real snakes in Ireland because it's all surrounded yeah, by water. Yeah, they can't survive in the climate. Yeah. No, that too. Yeah. So <laughs> maybe they say like that. Hold on. They drove out Nessie. Oh, there goes his lung. Sorry about that. I know, right? Don't Watch get out. sick. Yeah, I got sick, and yeah. now it's all—it's all coming up now. It's all just, ugh, ugh. and I'm sitting straight up today too. So, were you not sitting straight up the other day? No, yesterday I was all laying down on the couch, all doing a bazooka guabo. Don't lie. Know. He was hanging upside down on one of those like uh, leg things. <laughs> well, the, yeah. the sex chairs. Yeah. No, no. You don't have, have the boots where they hang. Yeah. <laughs> sex, sex swings. swings. No. <laughs> Joe's talking about the ones that like. Oh, are you, oh, are you, you? taking it in the uh, mouth? Paul, huh? Are you the one that Paul's taking? Paul must have been taking it in the mouth. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> That was a joke. Your face, Damn. your face, Polly. Like, but my brother just what? called me out. What? Is, what they what? called me out. Yeah, that's what it's my secret. Hey, exposed. I was getting pegged yeah. in the mouth earlier. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why do you got a black eye, Paul? 
Oh. It's cause he, that's because he likes being punched. <laughs> Leprechauns are likely based as Celtic fairies. Hey, I do believe in fairies because like all those missing 411 stories, they always talk about the little people in the woods. Oh. I think there's fairies. Mm. Mm. I mean, do you really think we're the only there's species that aren't found or that we're the really the only living beings? Oh, I believe I mean, this whole entire universe is teeming with life that they just kind of hide or just discard. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, I've seen some weird stuff Sasquatch. in my day. Sasquatch. Yeah. Yeah, you hear the knocking on the trees. My name's yeah. Dwayne. Dwayne. I'm scared do to know, do that now. Do you remember yeah. that? Uh, I'm pretty Wasn't sure that it was. trail mix commercial or something? Yeah, or it was like, the, oh, like oh, hey, Bigfoot. <laughs> my name's Bigfoot, Dwayne. My name's Dwayne. And then like yeah. walks away. <laughs> oh, poor Dwayne. Dwayne the bathtub, I'm drowning. All right, leprechauns are known as mischievous Irish fairies. The long-haired, green-clothed leprechauns are commonly associated with St. Patrick's Day. The origin of the Irish name old. of these figures, I know, right? Is actually called Low Bear Barson. Low Barson, meaning small bodied oh. fellow. I can see you dress up as a leprechaun. <clears throat> Thanks. You need a beard, a really long red beard, Paul. I know. Yeah. So he's growing out his beard. We're going to Dar- dye the beard. <laughs> Darby will get a little red. people. And next year, he, he's going to be the leprechaun of your dreams. What there do you we go. go. I'll get six-packed abs or some shit. Put, can we put like, Christmas lights in there? No, you gotta grow out your beard. Yeah, I am. That's what. It's that's why next right year. <laughs> that's why you're waiting till next year to be the leprechaun, because mm. you don't have enough time now, unless you can grow a lot of hair overnight. Now these Celtic fairies, they're tiny people and women who could use their magical powers to serve for good or evil. They say. I don't know why I'm being so disgraceful. Yeah. Uh, these uh, folk tales of leprechauns were cranky souls responsible for mending the shoes of other fairies. Thanks Wait. for fixing my shoe, bitch. I know, right? I remember it only as Jennifer Aniston in the movie Leprechaun that we saw over at Joe's house one day while eating dinner. Yeah. Hey, no, it camera, was the Irish dinner. Be 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 Jamie? Oh, okay. Let me turn off the camera then, real quick. One second, y'all. Just okay. Camera's off. <laughs> but um, yeah. Oh, so there you go. But I remember, yeah, Leprechaun, and then what was it? Leprechaun of the Hood, Leprechaun in Outer Space. I have the whole box set of the Leprechaun movies. They're awesome. There you go. Mm-hmm. Do we all still like Jennifer Jennifer Aniston or not? Uh, who doesn't? Uh, mm. Yeah, I mean. Why not? You know, it's like her I mean, and Ryan never... Reynolds. <laughs> What's wrong with Reynolds? Oh, nothing's wrong with not Ryan Reynolds. I know, right? He is a perfect I... specimen of man. <laughs> a per... I'm just saying. <clears throat> a shamrock is considered a sacred plant. Yeah. Thank you, Ryan Reynolds. Wait. All right. Sacred plant. Sacred. Mm-hmm. The three leaf clover symbolizes like like spring. What? I don't like how I look like I'm doing this. Uh, let me take a look. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I have my screen down. Oh, that's weird. Yeah, don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. <laughs> yeah, just do the dance like you did last night. That was funny. So the shamrock <laughs> I need to, is a. I need to watch that video. <laughs> a shamrock is a 3D clover and has been associated with Ireland for centuries. It is also called the Seam Roy. Seam Roy. By the Celts. Huh. By the Celts, okay. Yep. It symbolizes the arrival of spring, according to a legend St. Patrick used to plant as a visual guide when explaining the Holy Trinity, Joe. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Trinity fish fry this Friday. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> no cornbread, but we got fish fry. <laughs> you gotta you gotta plug it. No I don't cornbread. know why it's southern with it. Yeah, I know. No not cornbread, no corn beef, but oh, yeah. Yeah. did you know 
that they mm-hmm. had to. So we're doing the parade in this, the, uh-huh. you know, yeah. So, uh, see me edit myself. Uh, mm-hmm. They had. Where the fuck was I going with this? What were we talking about? Mm-hmm. Say something where you were just saying. You were going to ask if it was a mortal city to eat corn, corn beef on, on the Friday. Oh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, thank really? You. Is that what you were going to ask? Yeah. So, yeah. okay. They, my best friend's family is very Irish. Do you have to be Irish to be in that parade? Mm-hmm. And so they were all it was having a panic about are they going to be able to eat corned beef because it's Lent and it's on Friday this year. So the uh, archbishop okayed it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So I was like, "Oh, big thing! I'm a Protestant. Anyone... We can have meat on Fridays. We just can't have meat on Good Friday." Yeah. So, <clears throat> excuse me, everybody. Uh, so uh, there are stipulations to the Lenten feast of uh, fish where you don't have to. So if anyone is 14 years or younger, can eat meat at any time during Lent. So, Joe, when we were growing up, we got lied to by our family. My, oh, I, I did know too. we did. We did. I did, yeah. too. Um, My well, mom probably is... was like, you're not going to eat a burger in front of me while I'm eating a fish filet. Yeah, we always had the the fish finger sticks, and mm. my mom would burn them sometimes. Yeah. We yeah. Used to always would go get the filet of fish from... Uh, McDonald's. That, that oh, was man, the best. That was I cool. love oh, filet yeah. fish to this day. I can oh, yeah. go back some of those bad boys. Oh, yeah. I know, right? I had to Throw eat one that cheese. Yeah. Yeah, dude. When I had mm-hmm. something like that, me back to my childhood at mm-hmm. that Lent. Oh, springtime ish. Yeah. Lent springtime. Yep. But, um, oh, God. Now I hate you guys because I'm thinking about that the whole time. I don't like the bun, though. I could like you to lose a bun. Oh yeah. no, because they okay. toast the bun. They uh, toast McDonald's that bun a little bit. Oh, mine was soft. They don't toast that. Yeah. On the, Hi, you're Chappie. talking about on the fly fish. Is there? Yeah, yeah. Uh, is there I have my camera buns? back on. Is there? Is there? Is there buns potato? Is that the potato bread that they use at McDonald's? I don't know. Because you know, like it never goes bad ever. Uh, I mean, it gets hard. Well, huh. is the fillet? Oh, a fish from McDonald's. I I do the weirdest fucking thing yeah, to do. do this. You uh, don't even have to put this way. Yeah, you. It's okay. Made from potatoes. Are right, you come here? Come here. Let me say hello. Come here. Soybean. Soybean. Wait, the bread from soybean? Uh, <laughs> hydrogenized soybean oils. Okay, hey, hold on. Let, let me. Let, yeah, no, let me look into this. Um. Uh, hey, can you give me a Diet Coke, please? On your way back, or a tea or something? You're the best. What's really inside the McDonald's filet o fish When it comes to fast food chain... Uh, oh, don't you dare. Oh, I don't want to hear... I don't want to hear what it is. Oh my god, do you want to hear all the stuff about it? The uh, nutritional labels and stuff? No, no. It, it's okay. horrible for you. <clears throat> Alright. Everything's um, bad for you. It don't matter yeah. anymore. You just eat it and smile. Oh, oh my God. Oh, oh, I know, right? Uh, okay, so it was invented in the 1960s for a meatless option for the Catholics on Fridays. The filet of fish has been a long-term staple for the McDonald's menu, menu. But just because it's been around forever doesn't mean it's still good. Okay, they get the point. All right. Um, It doesn't tell you anything about the bun. Sorry. No bun. Okay. But, yeah. Have you so guys all you... seen the movie The Founder? Have you, have you guys seen the movie The Founder? <clears throat> no. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry, Olaf. It's it's worth watching because it has, like, the history of McDonald's, and, and, and it talked about the fight that they had with uh, Ray Kroc <laughs> back in the day where a lot of Catholic towns are just like, dude, we can't, we can't sell hamburgers. So they actually mm-hmm. took it mm-hmm. upon themselves to sell the fish sandwiches. Yeah, and Ray Kroc had had to bend because he's just like, you're not gonna have people buying burgers, dude. You know these are strict Catholic towns. Yeah. So they even had a 
McDonald's came out with a Hawaiian burger where it just had a pineapple instead of. Did you hear about? I don't. know well, you had to see the movie. Was it a Royal or? Yeah, a, that's a big Huna burger. No, no, it had a pineapple. In yeah, it had a pineapple instead of a burger, mm. and we're like, "What is this?" Yeah, it was, it was funny. Mm. So. No. However, those Catholics in general can eat meat throughout the the the, the Lenten days. Uh, except for Ash Wednesday and Friday, they really call for that. Except if you are pregnant, nursing, becoming pregnant, uh, you have physical, physical and mental illness, uh, chronic illness, and diabetes. Please. Yes, yeah. Dad broke. Yeah, Dad told me that that he ate. ate yeah, after that, he's like, I said, Dad, hey, fish for Friday. He goes, Nope, I'm diabetic. Yeah, but he can like, get Whoa. baked fish though if he really was going to. Yeah, well. No, I think he sucked. The, I think he sucked the hamburger because he found a loophole. He was like dog man. <laughs> I know, like, right? Oh, I can't. I'm diabetic. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Double quarter you, pounder, please. Yeah. <laughs> oh, did yeah. you see what yes, I put yeah. in general or, or whatever? Did you see what I put in uh, the Just Us when I put the snake bread? Thanks, Dad. <laughs> oh yes. Yes. That was awesome. Well, he was the one that started the snake bread tradition, <laughs> and I and I really he don't did. know why Scott did not do it. No, yeah. serious, he did. Yeah. yeah. And Scott's like, I don't know, I don't remember the snake bread. I'm like, oh, that was so pops, man. Oh, Fresh cut, Corey. There. That's We're what I did. About our, my brothers. <laughs> oh, I thought wild people. I thought it said white people in Ireland. Uh, the St. Patty's Day Parade, which is held in America, was first founded in 1895 in New York City. Are you going to talk about the Chicago uh, dying the river, Paul? Oh, oh yeah. they do, do that. Yeah, they do it every yeah. year. My favorite is uh, the movie, uh, what is that? What is that? The, the Fugitive. And they talk about it. They're like, if they could paint it green... You know, just for St. Patty's, can't they paint it blue or, you know, a better color throughout the rest of the year? I thought that was kind of funny. That is true. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, however, since the 1600s, there was always a St. Patty's Day parade in Ireland. Ugh. There you go. Uh, every time I think of Ireland, I think about the movie Commitments. Elvis was yeah. Cajun. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, my the one place I'd love to go is Ireland. I'd like yeah. to see the Green yeah. Isles. I want to kiss that the Blarney cool. Stone. Yep. I just want to see the Green Isles. Paul comes back. He's got sores all over his lips. I kissed the fucking Blarney Stone. <laughs> <laughs> and, and some other things too. I found. Uh, I found Brave. Yeah. <laughs> or is that Scottish? I don't know. <laughs> No, is Brave Scottish or Irish? I don't know. I don't know. Is, is Brave Scottish or Irish? Hello, Jamie? Is the, the Disney Brave, is that Scottish or Irish? It's Scottish. Scottish, yeah. It's Irish. Wait, hold on. What about the, the long red hair? Uh, No, that's not red. No, fuck it, whatever. Um, no, she did have long red hair. My kids watch that shit. I yeah. know Brave did, but I was thinking the other one where she let her hair down. Rapunzel? Yeah. That's blonde. Rapunzel's blonde. Yeah. Rapunzel, 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 let down your hair so I can climb the golden stair. Mm-hmm. I couldn't get into Darby old little people when we were kids. We watched it, but it, it's one of those ones where I kind of like, oh, yeah, that's that movie. Okay, and then I move on. Boondock those Saints those, to me is d- Irish. <clears throat> those were Walt what? Disney had a fatuation with, uh, with uh, the, the English culture with all of his like movies mm-hmm. it, it, through the fifties and sixties I know in the seventies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cause like something wicked this way comes was shot in England. There was a lot of movies oh, shot yeah. in England over there. Now I don't know if it was cheaper to do. I don't know, but they, you know, if you look at the catalog of the, the Disney from the sixties and seventies, there was a lot of, you know, European releases, which was interesting. And Walt Disney wanted France call to be Tinkerbell. Little little fun fact. Oh, well, I could see that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, did you, man? Oh, by the way, uh, Chappie, if you don't know who France Gall is, look her up. Uh, really great singer. Did you know corned beef and cabbage is not a authentic Irish dish? It's an American Shocker. innovation. 
<laughs> Shocker. <laughs> Just like uh, fortune cookies aren't Chinese. Yeah. No. Yeah. So while yeah. ham and cabbage were eaten in Ireland, corned beef offered a cheap substitute for the impoverished immigrants of the Irish American oh. slums. So in Lower just, Manhattan, we're, we're celebrating <laughs> being poor. I think so. Oh. Is that oh, what that's just said? Get, they gotta yeah. get rid Is that of what the beef that's just Yes. So yeah. I'm gonna I, tell them when we they bite into their corned beef tomorrow. I'm gonna say you're yep. celebrating the days you were poor. Irish American immigrants living in the slums of Manhattan in the late 19th century and early 20th purchased leftover corned beef from ships returning from the tea trade in China. The Irish would boil the beef three times to get it to its softness and then add and cabbage on the last one uh, to remove the brine. Ugh. Jeez. Man, now I feel really eat. shitty about eating corned beef. Huh. Fun facts. I was in all my Fun life. Life. I know, right? I've been living a lie. So, what about the Departed? Do you like that for St. Patrick's Day? I don't know what that is. That's a good movie. The movie, The Departed. DiCaprio. Oh, mm-hmm. Leonardo DiCaprio. Let me else. I see. Do we have any other? Do we have any other ones here? Um, I remember when we were kids, if you weren't wearing green, you get pinched. Yeah, no, yeah. we still do that. 100%. My mom would pinch me if I was wearing green tomorrow. My wife, my wife yeah. punches me when I don't wear green. Oh, paper. really? Wow. Well, there yeah. you go. That's a very violent relationship. <laughs> Sometimes. I'll be on in a bit. Fuck you, Dirks. <laughs> <laughs> you're not on now fuck you yeah fuck you he comes on hey buddy what's going on hey, no fuck you yeah no fuck you what are they okay so you had you have green beer Ugh. um <clears throat> what other green things you have green popcorn right mm-hmm. we have the snake green bread. clothes uh, i have green i clothes. bakery yeah. Oh, I can't wait! Oh, to... You gotta have cookies and stuff, yeah. Because I have been hiding, I have been hiding this sweater for like three weeks or four weeks now. Ever since I knew I was gonna be in the parade, mm. and it's for tomorrow, and I can't wait for everybody to see it. It's it's literally it says, no, you're gonna have to wait till tomorrow too. Does it have X's over your nipples? <laughs> No, sorry, it's oh, not that well, exciting. It's not that exciting. <laughs> it's not that kind of parade, there, Paul. No, oh, if you want to drive, it's a family event. Paul, and I'm gonna have a thing that says it's a. Uh, I'm a little Irish, and it, I'm a little Irish. Yeah. You know. No, it says like a it. wee bit Irish, and it has the pot leaf with the stoned <clears throat> well, eyes on it. There you go. It. There you go. I said, Mom's like, oh, it's fine. You can get it. It's legal. I'm like, yeah, I'm a city employee, and I'm going to be walking with the vet edit. Watch yourself. Watch yourself. Edit. I'm I was doing editing. so good. I'm not I editing. Doing... Hey, hey, I did... <laughs> I've been doing really good so far. No, you're doing really good, that but was I the won't first edit. one. Just saying. From now on, do you like? Do you like how I can tell where you edit it? Now, you... all you got to hear me say be is like, <laughs> yeah. and he's like, stop. Okay. Stop. Now I'm going to be like, easy, easy. <laughs> so The Departed, I like that one, but that's, um, I don't know. What about the Mighty Buddy Boss of Tones? Are they, are they St. Patrick's Day-ish stuff uh, for everybody? Oh, never mind. No, Dropkick Murphys are. <laughs> Dropkick Murphys? Yes. Yeah, I'll give yeah. you that. Um, Shipping Off the Boston, great song. Yeah. Dan, da, 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 da. What other oh, one I... be? Huh. Oh, I'm a Cindy. Billy O.T. Billy O.T. Billy oh, O.T. What is that? I'm trying to think of all. That's about Billy it, O-T. you know? I always loved that little, uh, like in school, I always loved how they put the window decorations up for all the holidays. But St. Patty's Day, you'd have the shamrocks hanging, you know, from the lights, the fluorescent lights. Remember that back in the day? It's in public yeah. school. Yeah. That was always fun. I like St. Oh, Patrick's Day. It's one of my favorites. 
Yep, I like them all. What else? I'm trying to think. Is there anything else that? Because I remember, like back in the 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 drinking days and the party. I know. Days. I know. Moms would say you can't step <laughs> step on um the grass because you might step on a leprechaun. Oh. There you go. But um, I, which I think was just telling us to keep out of people's yards. Yeah. What is well, this? The yeah, our mom sailor? told us not to step in the grass because we only step in dog poop. So. Yeah. You can't hear it, Paul. We they can't really hear it. Man, it's kind of quiet. It's a uh, sausage sailor. There you go. All right. Oh, well, I'll put it in later. <laughs> yeah, she's like, yeah, yeah. No, it's hilarious. You got to listen. Actually, when we get off here, you got to listen to the actual video. It's funny. But I remember my, uh, I like to call them my gypsy days. When I used oh, to yeah. drink, smoke, have a great time. And um, um, it was a St. Patrick's Day. I know I had a hat on and some beads. I know that. And we ended up someplace where it was a bar that had everything Elvis Presley in it and a bowling alley. But when we got out of her, uh, this is Kelly. Do you remember Kelly, Joe, right? Maybe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> He's yeah, saying, yeah. Uh we got out of her. Look, the one that looked like a Columbia or something, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we huh? I get out of her she had a T bird at the time or some kind of Camaro of some sorts. And uh I get out there, I'm drunk off my ass. And I just remember looking at this place and I'm like, Holy shit, it's a bar on one side and a bowling alley on the other, and it's only two lanes, it's all you get. And we were drinking like green beer and just having a good time and that's all I remember from the whole night. But I had a good time. Mm. Usually if you don't remember it, you had a good time. Yeah, that's right. Mm. <laughs> that's just why I look like I'm 70 at my age. You do not look like you're 70. You look 75. <laughs> I look like William I'm Shatner only without hair. Yeah. Only 60. Oh, oh Dirks did show up. I'm Dirks. Thank you. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, I'm Dex. Hear me roar. He, was, he roar. was yelling at you. Any of you guys that texted him and didn't come on immediately, he yelled, fuck you. At oh, me. I was just dispatched. He was, he was a, he's a fucking angry little leprechaun. Paul, you good, so, bro? What is the real meaning of St. Patrick's Day? Would you all like to know? Yes. Sure. It's also called Le Filia Prad... The Day... Of the Festival of Patrick. Ooh. It's a cultural and religious ceremony held on the 17th of March, like we all know. And it's a it's a death date of St. Patrick. Hmm. Oh, really? we're celebrating. Eye, yeah. Why are we celebrating his death? <clears throat> he drowned in green beer. I think. <laughs> uh, I I don't know. Where used to go? Time for you to Google it. Now, what is the Holy Bible, Joseph? What does the Holy Bible say about St. Paddy's Day? Would you like you to know? Hell. For uh, all uh, who are no. led by Spirit of God are sons of God and shall not worship any legendary spirits of Ireland. If he or she is to say to all, if anyone would come before me or after me and deny myself or himself, will take up a cr What the fuck does this mean? Mm -hmm. For whoever you save his life is... Okay, that's enough out of me. I'm not really religious. Are you anyway. reading us yeah. the Bible? Yes, it was the Bible. It was the King James Version. Oh... Uh... I don't know. All I know is that, uh, wait, okay, so everybody except for certain people have Jesus for their savior. And I think Ireland has um, spirits or something. <laughs> no, theirs are the fairies. Oh, they have the fairies. They have yeah. the leprechauns. Yes. No, the fairies. It's elementals. Not the That's what it is. They have elementals. Yeah. yeah. Elementals. Oh. Yeah, it's like a fairy. Huh. But magical. But are they good or bad, though? Because there's good They're... fairies and bad fairies. Mm. I'm sure there's good elementals and bad elementals. Remember on the labyrinth when he was spraying Hogwart, Hoggle? Hog... <laughs> spraying the bad fairies. Remember that? <laughs> Hagrid, Hoggle! I love that. Yeah. Probably just depends on how much green beer they drink. 
Mm-hmm. I'm true. missing a dog. You know, it's always bad though. You, it's not the green beer. When you do the green popcorn, you shit green for like days. Seriously, dude? No, yeah. no, 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 guys, guys. I got something to tell you about that green popcorn. I gotta try that. It was in my car. My kids were like munching down on the bag, right? And I had some too. And I noticed the smell of the green pie. It smells funky, dude. Like I'm like, what the fuck's in the back seat? What are you kids doing? You know, I was like, is there a dirty diaper back there? It has a funky smell. I'm sorry, man. It's just f- yeah. smell like feet. <laughs> no, it smells like it smells like phosphorus. It's like a it's like a phosphorus eggy smell. Oh, wow. like open a bag and just let it sit. You'll you'll know what I'm talking about. It's, it's weird. I'm like, what? Why does it smell like that? Huh. Like sulfur, kind of. Yeah, it's like a sulfury smell. Exactly. And this was a Schnooks brand. So, yeah. <laughs> Schnooks. You can't Schnooks. say Schnooks. You gotta Schnooks. say Snooks. You can't say Schnooks. Uh, you gotta say Snooks. 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 All right, yeah, I'm gonna put these in again. Discord. These are celebrities. Let's go. Hashtag general, everybody, if you can. Uh, um, uh, sorry. Uh, if anybody could text them to Chappy, that'd be great. Uh, what is that? Poop? That's poop, Joe. You put green poop Let on a plate? See. Let me see this. No, okay. no, that's the that's the snake sandwich. That's the snake and then sandwich. Did you see Scott's, sandwich. You see Scott's, Scott's comment about the sandwich? Yeah. He goes, shrimp. With the shrimp? Yeah, yeah. he says, nothing mm. screams St. Patrick's Day like shrimp. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. All right, yeah. I'll put it out. The first celebrity who was born on St. Patrick's Day. Does anyone know who that uh, person is? No. That is Nat King Cole. Huh. He does the Christmas song. Wow. Chestnuts mm-hmm. roasting on an open fire. Here's they might know it more than the, the Gremlins movie. Yeah. 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 Or Here. what? What? That's not the same guy. Never mind. That's Louis Armstrong. Mm. How about this guy right here? Probably cousins. Billy Corgan from. Anyone. Anyone? Smashing Pumpkins. Thank Smashing you. Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins lead mm-hmm. singer. Yeah. Great band. 1979. Mm-hmm. These are all these celebrities that were born. Oh my God. This Melancholy. guy? Patrick Duffy? Oh. Oh, he was on like Dallas and all the 80s stuff. Never mind. Um, he was on that wise. show with uh, Susan Summers. Yeah. Uh, what is that show called? Um, it was at Duff's, uh, Dallas. Step, step by step. step, step by step. step. Yes. Look how look how Great he looks show. right now. It's uh, he doesn't really look very. Uh, took me a second to take a look at him, but he was born on St. Patrick's Day. Other celebrities. Who's Grimes? Do you guys know who Grimes is? No, uh, she's I... an artist. She sings. Yeah. Electrical musical star. She was born on St. Patrick's Day. Do we know uh, Hoser? She's great. Hoser. What did Hoser sing? Oh, take me to church. Take me to church. I take worship me, like a dog. He was born on St. Patrick's Day. Oh, that song could be stuck in my head. This guy, <laughs> you've seen him in movies such as Forrest Gump and um, NCIS or something, I guess. This guy right here. Take a look. Gary Sinise. I don't know who that is. Gary. Remember the guy who, uh, Lieutenant Diane from Forrest Gump? Oh, okay. Yeah, he was born yeah. on uh, St. Patrick's Day. This is mm-hmm. really surprising me because I didn't even, I, man, this is insane. Kurt Russell, born on St. Patrick's Day. Wow, I just ordered a Kurt Russell movie. Oh, yeah? Today. Hmm, called Broken House? Down. Yeah. Oh, that's a good movie. No, right Broken there. Down. Broken Down, yeah. That movie's fucked. Yeah. Uh-huh. Hold on, I'm going to have to. Be off camera for this. Give me a second. I gotta blow my nose. I'm training and snap. I don't know. It could go viral. Literally. Oh. But I don't think you want to see it because I, I have, the, I have the, I have the old hanky. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. <laughs> Talks amongst yourselves. Who's the bear with the microphone? Oh, that's Craig. He's the recording dude. Oh, hey Craig. Thanks for recording, dude. But yeah, well, dude. Yeah. <laughs> that was that was funny. I like that. Welcome back. 
<laughs> Paul, you just did a line? Yeah. <laughs> Tastes good. <laughs> Who's Coco Austin? Is that... Um... I don't know who that is. Oh, daughter of Chanel. Oh. Mm. Chanel, like the Rob Deerdick Chanel? Yeah. Yep. Rob uh, uh Rob uh, Kardashian? There's a Kardashian that was ridiculous. Oh, oh. Yeah, Chanel? there is uh, there is one uh, Kardashian that's a son. Yeah, and he does not look good. Oh, he man. doesn't anymore? He used to. He didn't look good in this. He was all fat and shit. Oh, um, I didn't think. <laughs> okay, this guy right here, he played in um, uh, the Star Wars. He played, um, I don't know, whatever his name was in there. He was the, the Stormtrooper black guy. So, but your number one celebrity in dedication for March 17th, for, you know, St. Patrick's Day is. Here you guys go. Take a look at this picture right here. The no Barb man himself, Rob Lowe. Oh. Yeah, Rob Lowe. Born on St. Patrick's Favorite Day. Rob Lowe. Him. Favorite Rob, Rob Lowe. Lowe line. Favorite Rob Lowe line. What movie is it from? What is it? It's oh shit. Do you <laughs> believe in world? premarital? <laughs> do you believe in premarital sex? <laughs> what movie was that? It was Rob Lowe's line. In what movie? Isn't that how do you Tommy believe in Boy? something that happens? No, it was in uh, St. Elmo's Fire. He's oh, sitting on the back of the ambulance really? and he says, oh, do you believe in premarital right. sex? <laughs> and he's playing he's a, he's has, holding a saxophone. Uh, Did he, tell it to that? he was talking to that chick that had, that, that had a bad for him, right? The chick that liked him? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He yeah. That money. yeah. And yeah. he had, a, and he had the uh, had a saxophone he was playing and she walked up and said something and he quit playing and looked at her and asked her if she believed in premarital sex. Mm. It's a great story. I don't know how you take this, but um Speaking of speaking of same almost fired, you know, Debbie Moore moved in with uh uh um, I was getting ready to say that, Joe. How did you, you were looking at same thing it. I was? <laughs> no, I wasn't. Great, I read dude. it way earlier. I did yeah, I just well, saw it. I, well, why did she move in? <laughs> why did she move in? To help out with his dementia. Mm-hmm. They're getting it on. Wasn't all. he married to her back in the day? Yeah, he was. Who, you know who? Demi Moore. Bruce Will- and she Bruce moved back Will- in with Bruce Willis? Willis? Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. with his wife. Huh. Well, it's she's married, too. She's. I think her husband's probably there, too. There's, I think they just decided. Yeah, I heard doing that, like too. doing like a yeah. little. Yeah, slumber party. Mm-hmm. Big old. Mommy, daddy, <laughs> or Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> So Hans Gruber made the list of the most smartest Ooh. villains in movies. Jeez. If you guys Ooh. don't know who Hans Gruber is, that is the villain of the first Die Hard. What is his name? Alan Rickman? Yeah. Greatest Christmas movie ever. Mm, yes. yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Yeah. Don't tell Bruce Willis that, though. He'll punch you in the face. I know. He gets mad about that. It's not. Yeah. It's not, they said Voldemort also, so there's your Harry Potter reference. There you go. Uh, yes, yes. Love the Harry Tom Potter. Tom Ripley and the, the the talented Mr. Ripley. But that's a good movie, too. It's very long, but worth it. I love that movie. I don't think I've seen that one yet. It's worth the watch, dude. Seriously. That movie's fucked up, dude. Fucked mm, up. It is, yeah. Because mm. uh, that has uh, Matthew Perry, uh, uh, Matt Damon, and... Um, and uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, the, the, Damon. No, the the really pretty boy from uh, all those movies, including uh, all those Ocean's Eleven. Brad Pitt. Reindeer right? Game. Pretty boy. Brad yeah. Pitt. <laughs> yeah, Brad Pitt's in that. Yeah. <laughs> Verbal Kent from The Usual Suspects. Kevin Spacey himself. Before he got in trouble for touching boys, I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Did you ever see that Tom Cruise movie Collateral with the uh, um uh fuck what's his name? Uh J- Jamie Jamie Foxx. Where, where Tom Cruise plays there? the hitman. Oh my gosh, that was so yeah, that good. Was wild. Real quick, guys, is Vanilla Sky a good movie? Yes. Tom Cruise. Very trippy. Okay. Smoke a lot of weed before you do it. Eat some gummies, you know, light some candles, yeah. enjoy yourself. I don't think Tom Cruise makes bad movies. Everything he makes is amazing. 
Mm. I mean, yeah, he. No, best, you're but... right. Every yeah. What? Pretty much everything I've seen is good that he made at least. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I you're right. No, you're right about, yeah, all of his movies are really good. You're right about yeah. that. Yeah. Vanilla Sky, though, it's a very, it's a trippy movie because it's all about, you know, like, like perception. Vanilla and, Sky. Yeah. Anton Sugar <laughs> from No Country for Old Men made the list of the most smartest. I movies. love him. Is that the bad guy, right? That's the mm-hmm. bad guy with the, uh, the mm-hmm. yeah, I love that whole movie. That's that movie's like one of my all time uh-huh. favorite movies. I like uh, don't, don't get around. Don't get don't get it mess, mixed up with your change. I yeah, that's that what I say. The coin seed. Oh my gosh, I love that. Yeah, it that dude was all the way close to, to death. Point. He didn't oh, realize God. it. I still like that where he after he killed uh, uh, Woody Harrelson, he calls up uh, you know the the Goonies guy and the and the the hospital. He goes like he goes, I know where you're at, but that's not why I'm calling. <laughs> it's like yeah. Geez. Yeah, he's, he's and then they uh, got that guy that stole the money with the for, with the with the honey pot chick. I was like, oh, don't fall for that. Remember the prostitute mm-hmm. in the in the I hotel, know, right? Yeah, yeah like that's all they had. A, that yeah. Was a, yeah, she was a yeah. yeah, she was a honey pot. Yeah, I was like, yeah. dang, fell for that. Yeah, yeah, and that's what killed him. That movie the, kept you on edge if you the first time watching it. Yeah. Oh, it was really. I, I mean, to this day, I still like watching it for. Uh, and it's weird because it's like a seventies movie. I hate seventies. I was never a fan of the seventies. Yeah, really, mm-hmm. I love the seventies and eighties stuff. Burt Reynolds. The informant and stuff. with uh, mm-hmm. the dude from Breaking Bad. You guys have seen that informant movie? No, I haven't oh, seen that yet. That what movie is, that is one? awesome. Yeah, it's I don't remember what. Oh my god, I gotta ask Shane what that movie was called. Hmm. Well, can you tell us? We can look it up. We're all on the interwebs. Well, I'm, I gotta ask Shane. Oh, the Joker from the Batman franchise. About? That would be a good, um, good villain. Yeah, the Joker. Yep, for the smartest villains in hmm. movies. Yep, or whatever. Hans Landau from Inglorious Bastards. Wait a minute, guys. Ooh, what about the Saw movie? guy? The Saw guy was really smart. Yeah, he's on here. Jigsaw. Yes, he Jigsaw. is on the list. Okay, Jigsaw. Okay. I just kind of passed up some of them. I thought you guys would be like, oh, okay. Uh, you want to play a game? Yeah. <laughs> I like to play a game with you. Where you touch things. I don't know. Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. Definitely. Hold Hannibal on a Lecter. second. I'm going to yes. mute for a second. Okay. You mute. Hannibal Lecter. John Doe from Seven. Yes. Another friggin' uh, um, um, what's his face? I gotta Kevin, that Kevin again. Costner. Not Kevin Costner. What the hell is his name again? Kevin Bacon? No, no. The guy Kevin Bacon seven. started seven, didn't he? Uh, uh, no, that was Brad Pitt, Morgan Freeman, and um, <laughs> Kevin Spacey. That's it. Morgan Kevin Freeman. Spacey. Morgan. Real quick, seven. <laughs> that's a Seven Deadly Sins movie, right? Seven, yeah. Uh, David Fincher's gross crime scene uh, thriller, seven. Yep. It was really good. Kevin Spacey. Oh. He plays John Doe, and at the end, memory, he's like sitting there because you know, it's that whole scene like, What's in the box? What's in the box? And it was his oh, wife's yeah. head. Yeah. But you know what? You never oh, get to okay. see the white, you never get to see inside the box. That was so great about that cinematic. And they just put the suspense in there. You, you think you saw it, but you never, there was no ever any film clip where you see like anything of it, what's inside the box. Uh... Professor Moriarty from Sherlock Holmes. Okay. As a smart villain. I, I agree. Yeah. Yeah, he was. Wasn't he uh, Sherlock Holmes' nemesis? Yeah. No. Yeah. Would you think Thanos from the MCU, you know, everybody knows Thanos, was he a smart villain or just a, a fucking titan? I don't know. Uh, I think he'll turn out to be a hero. What? Yeah. I think it's going to flip completely like the Avengers are all going to be evil <laughs> and everyone they fought were actually saving the world. Oh my gosh. Wouldn't that be a cool twist? Oh, I love yeah. those plot <laughs> twists. I do. Yeah. Like Better Call Saul. Yeah, where it shows him turning in bad, turning the bad, turning the bad guy. Wouldn't yeah. that be wild? And the whole time they were fighting the people that were actually saving the world. Wow. That's crazy. That would be super trippy. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be a cool twist. Did you know Breaking Bad almost didn't happen because of weeds? Oh, I loved weeds. So good. 
Except the I last did. season. Well, that brought me. Yes. But I couldn't get into it for very much. Like I got into it for the first couple seasons. Oh, I love it. that show. And um, they had a spinoff, The Big C, right? Didn't they have a spinoff show where that chick had right. cancer, The Big C? Was that it? Oh, okay. The Big I know it yeah. A Scanner Darkly. Huh? It's what? the movie that I was talking about. I said, Look, I got to go ask Shane. The movie's what, what, what? name is A Scanner Darkly. A it, has scanner... Kanye, it has Kanye Reeves in it. Ka- Kanye What's it about? Reeves? Kiana? Keanu yeah, it's the cartoon one where it's everything's all yeah. That's a great movie, yes, where everybody's it is all like so anime up. looking thing. Yeah. Can somebody like oh I'm, remind me of that name later? I knew I didn't know how to fucking crime. describe this. And I called Shane and I just said like three mumbled up words and he goes, Oh, Scanner Darkly. Like he knew what I was talking about. I'm like, I couldn't fucking say it to you guys. All right. Said- <laughs> Keanu Reeves as a cartoon, and I would have been like, oh, that No, movie. I couldn't think of his name. I had it just like, I, all I said was, what was that weird-ass trippy movie we watched in high school? Mm-hmm. And he's like, what's one? And I was like, it was like, the pixels were changing and shit. And he goes, was it the one with Keanu Reeves? And I said, yeah. And then he's like, oh, shit. So he's like, Google it. And he goes, okay, it's uh, a scanner darkly. That movie, we were so freaking high watching that. It, <laughs> it, it Holy shit. I know this one made the list, but this is still a good one. Um, because uh, scan, uh, scan darkly, or whatever. That also had Robert Downey Jr. in there before he became Iron Man, like when he's mm-hmm. still ostracized. There was another yeah. movie called Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. I really fucking love. You should wow. all watch that movie. Robert Downey Jr. Val Kilmer when he's all big gutted and everything is great. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, huh. Yeah, and uh, it's funny because he plays a gay um, invest private investigator, and he's helping out Robert Downey Jr. solve whatever crime or whatever. But um, it's funny they they get into this really bad scuffle one night, and he had Val Kilmer was driving him back, and he's getting down. He's like, "Man, thank you for everything. I'm so sorry, blah, blah, blah. Hesitate to call me, and he drove off. I was like, "That's a great line, man. <laughs> Hesitate to call me. Just <laughs> that was good. Okay. Well." Ara, have you seen um, the Butterfly Effect before? Oh hell yeah! Yeah, it's good. Good movie. Yeah, I love that movie. That was a movie. good one, but I have um, I, I don't know. That I didn't chick was like... no good throughout the whole movie. Yeah. Yeah. No. No. You're right. Like, no she matter was. how many scenarios he went through, she was mm-hmm. not the chick for him. No. Yeah. Even when yeah. it was like the best yeah. thing, when they're all preppies and shit. Yeah. 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 It just was not. Yeah. That poor guy. Yeah. Hmm. But I mean, uh, that was no, no, but I mean, but, oh, uh, yeah, I just didn't, I loved it. I love uh, when he's with the big guy in there, when he lost, before he lost all his weight and they're like, how does he land all his chicks? Well, with a lot of eyeliner and some charisma, you can get whatever you want. <laughs> so, or like, remember when he's all talking to his teachers, when he's like trying to like really get into the whole thing, he like stabs his hands on the, uh, the two spike things so you could show the guy in prison like look at me and he's like stagmata oh my gosh yikes there's a lot of good there's a lot of good movies out there from the past and you know a lot of people just don't really watch anymore or just never knew about them especially in today's world or, or this generation I mean um, and, and here's another thing too Guilty. Do we do we really have the patience to watch a lot of like dialogue movies anymore? I do. I prefer them. Okay. I like when they build up the plot. I think it's a lot better. It depends. Yeah, I like. Yeah, I like it where you're making me think. I do not like predictable movies. That's I. That's the biggest turnoff for me. Is like yeah. a predictable movie. I'm like, okay, I'm done. Don't waste my yeah. time. I want a big I like- plot twist. Yo, oh, that's the best part when it just like it sideswipes you and you're like, yes. what the fuck just happened? Yeah, I love those. <laughs> based on true stories too. I love those based on true story yes. ones. You know, yeah, yeah, definitely. Because I'm watching, I'm watching a mini series now about Jared, the um, the subway <gasps> guy, Is but that, it's, it's oh. not that good. It's not I that good. What, this chick's dragging what? it out, and I'm like, what in well, the yeah, fuck? And it's what. What, I don't what all want, do you have to you say guys, on that? You know? Oh, uh, okay. 
He got I, caught with child you porn. Want turns out he was alert? a really fucking. No, 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 no. Okay, okay, hold on. You, if you guys watch this, this investigator reporter lady, okay, she actually goes after the him, um, and tries to like, she goes after this guy, and all he did was whisper in her ear that the 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 the, the young girls in the crowd looked cute or something, and I'm like, what in the fuck, like. So you, you 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 dropped your family. You won't spend time with your kids. You go to the because, FBI. The FBI mm -hmm. says you're in trouble for uh, for recording this guy illegally. He didn't even know mm -hmm. he was being recorded. So now she's stuck working for the FBI because they got her by the balls. Okay, <laughs> they got her. You know, the, yeah, it's really fucked up. You got to watch it. It's nuts. What's and it I called? Haven't even gotten through the it's it's on uh, Discovery Subway. Plus. It is it's on Discovery Plus. Yeah, yeah. Jared from Subway. Yeah, how they bust Jared. It's really weird. But and didn't I'm like, like his friends yeah. turn him in or something? Like not that person, but like his friends. Well, like, I'm still saw... I'm still on the reporter that no. that that did like did this thing with him. Uh, did the reporter stuff? Yeah, it's 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 bizarre, guys. It's a really weird thing to watch, and I haven't gotten through it yet. I gave a couple spoiler alerts, but mm -hmm. it's just give it but a it's watch. A series it's or a movie? It's, it's a, a TV series, series on uh, yeah. on on Discovery Plus. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of like their flagship show right now. Yeah, that they are they're advertising. Uh -huh. I just clicked myself all off. Whoops! Can you all hear me? Am I back? Yeah, you're back. All right, but yeah, no, because yeah. I, I, I thought it was like. Pretty cut and dry. Like they found a bunch of, you know, his friends caught him with a bunch of. No, it wasn't like that at all. No, it's then he really like, weird. It turns out he like went around and was like banging chicks and stuff. So. No, like they had no evidence when she went to the FBI. She had no evidence whatsoever that he did any child porn at all. He was just really? talking to her. Huh. Yeah, it's really weird. Well, yeah, she probably didn't, but like I think that they said like the friends or friends of his turned him in or. Something. Well, yeah, know. she starts digging deeper and deeper and deeper, but I'm like, this is kind of weird. Yeah, like normal people don't, you know, when you meet a celebrity, they don't go, "Hey, wait a minute, well, you might be." Yeah, wait a minute. he's just gotta he watch might it. Be a pedophile. Yeah, yeah it's kind of weird. Uh, yeah, I understand. Sounds messed up. When was the last time you guys heard ever heard of the name of Brooke Shields? I no. I, here we go I, with I, the uh, blue lagoon. Blue blue lagoon. <laughs> Yeah, there's always type of she posted, Norco no, killer. She posted Playboy at 14 years old too. Oh my god, are really? you serious? Holy crap! Google Does the she guy. Even have Google anything? It. That's uh, no. I don't want to see gross. a 14 year old naked. Yeah, no, no, no she did, no. There's an actual printed Playboy magazine issue with her in it, naked at 14. I'm not lying to you. Wow. Oh, no, yeah, I, I didn't. I didn't say that you. Were I have lying, no Joe. idea. Well, I don't, look at gross. Hugh Hefner. Well, oh, oh, dude, it's 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 we live in a real sketchy world. We're running guys. the Hollywood trafficking circle. But I'm I'm glad you bring that up, Joe, because um, so I haven't heard the name Brooke Shields in a while. Actually, actually, several years. Uh, the last yes. thing I saw it in was a uh, um, there was Entourage. Have you guys ever seen that show on, or that TV show Entourage? I've heard of or it. Heard of I don't it? Watch it. It's yeah, on HBO. I, I love Entourage. Yeah, when when um, what's his face drama, uh, had had a thing with Brooke Shields where he got a hard on on set, and she's like, "Oh my god, he's hard," and all this other stuff. That's Brooke Shields, <laughs> but um, she's in a lot of stuff. But um, um, so she's coming out with a documentary, Joe, like you're talking about the Jared guy, of and it's on Hulu of Brooke Shields' Pretty Baby, a two part documentary that covers Brooke Shields' extensive career. Life in the public eye, and how she was sexually molested 30 years ago by one Hollywood executive. Wow. Wowzers. Now, the and reason why I bring this up, the reason why I bring this up with Joe here, uh, Dirks, is we have this kind of theory that when, and it, and it sounds really shitty to say this, but I think a lot of people think this. A lot of celebrities from like the 90s and the 80s who are becoming irrelevant now take advantage of this hashtag me too movement but later than they should have like this should have came out when the hashtag me too first came out in my opinion yeah most people don't talk about sexual abuse when they've been abused it's not something you really want to bring up you know thank yeah, but... you yes it's a hard <laughs> subject to bring up and paul that that producer could have crushed this chick like like financially by suing her and all that you got to remember these people are usually afraid of these people who molest them 
at mm-hmm. a younger age, but mm-hmm. say, Hey, you do this for me and I'll hook you up in a good career. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah, so what I'm thinking it, is this, now easy. that you guys say all yeah. this, now don't get me wrong. I also believe that they're, they're doing this. Like when their celebrity status starts going away, all of a sudden they pop up with these stories. And this even happened way before the hashtag me too movement came out as well. <laughs> Over the years, you'll see like Charles in charge lady, stuff like that. But um, I'm not trying to say anything sexist or belittling by any means because um, abuse is abuse, okay? Right. But uh, what I'm saying is is that, you know, the other thing I was thinking about right when you guys were just talking about this is this is probably why I came out now because that executive is probably dead now. Yeah. yeah. So there's no Corey way... Haim, of- Corey Haim wouldn't even reveal any names to this day because, remember, or not Corey Haim, Corey Feldman. Remember, Corey Haim killed himself. Yeah, Corey Haim that said time. that uh, uh, what was it? Charles uh, Charlie Sheen raped him. Yeah, and I believe that dude. I mean, I'm sorry, they're not going to sit there and lie like that. And then he killed himself. Mm. You know, because you're going yes. up against you're going against a Goliath here, where that is that is that's what they do out there in Hollywood, dude. Like, have you seen the Nickelodeon fucking specials where they had that dude going after girls' toes? Yeah, and the, the yeah. parents were pimping their kids out to be the next celebrity. Make yep. sure you show your your belly and your toes. I'm like, what mm-hmm. in the fuck? Mm. All for fame and money, guys. So the yeah, documentary, not all right. That stuff needs to yeah, go away. No, it, it does. does need to go away. Yeah. Now, she says that um, um, early on in the documentary, she attended a dinner with a Hollywood executive who she does not name. Under the guise of getting a movie deal or a movie job, when he then took her back to a hotel room and assaulted her, and she says, "Did you hear? I, I didn't fight. I just froze and let him do it." Jeez, jeez. Yeah. Did you did you hear about uh, uh, Shirley Temple when they were? Old? No, it wasn't Shirley Temple. It was uh, the girl from uh, Wizard of Oz. Oh yeah, they I did, think. Yeah. But they went in to go see uh, the mayor guys. You know the MGM uh. people. The yeah. guys, and he walked out totally naked, hmm. and she starts laughing, like the little girl. I think it was Shirley Temple. She starts laughing at him because he's naked. He's an old guy, and she's just like she starts laughing. He got mad, threw her out of the office, and then the mom, the, because they separated the mom and the daughter, they had to go to two different rooms. So apparently they were they were doing the mom too, and uh, the mom goes, um, uh, she, she the, the daughter tells the mom, hey, you you ain't gonna believe what happened in here. And the mom goes, she ain't going to believe what happened in here. So they mm. were separated and they were both messed with. Mm. It's fucked up, dude. Yeah. And that was like, that was done on live TV. And they were like, no, no, you can't talk about that. So mm. no, this dude, like I said, so I don't. It's hard for someone to come forward. And if, you know, they want to tell their story, I believe them. I'm sorry, dude. Yeah. Well, so. all I'm saying is, is that. And you and I talked about this before, but I, I'm not trying to put words in anybody's mouth. But I'm saying yeah. that it's funny how these celebrities come out later when they're starting to become irrelevant and then have this big moment where something happens. Now, same thing they like rehab people, too. You know, they get all on drugs, they get off drugs, and then they have their, their comeback story. So it's like half of me is always like rooting for this. Like, yeah, you get that sexual assault or yeah, you, you got it free of the drugs. Good going. But then the other half of me is just like, huh? Okay. Well, I guess this is a way to get back into limelight again. I guess. I don't know. So is it, is it bad for me to think that way though? Or is that just, just, I I think I just move on. I don't think you should judge it because everyone's experience is like individual, you know? Mm-hmm. So timing is irrelevant to what happens. Like it happens if they want to talk about it, they can talk about it. But like, you definitely can't belittle someone's story or disregard it. Oh, I'm not you doing know? that either. Yeah, yeah, because their just... their brain blocks out a lot of weird shit that happens to them. Paul, look at mm-hmm. me in second grade. You know, yeah. we're like, yeah. I just like I said. Um, I guess that's just because when I look at celebrities. Maybe I look at them through a different eye than than anyone else because, like, when it's like, like real life people, yeah. Because like, when hey I'm guys, like, I'm gonna say this uh, now. It's gonna be on tape uh, when, when, when Rupert Murdoch passes away. That's the end of Fox News, and they did a lot of shit to those chicks on that though that channel. They ruined their careers. Mm. Yeah, yeah. That they ruin a lot in every industry. Luckily, it's yeah. starting to change, and I, I'm honestly grateful for Me Too movement because. <clears throat> 
I'd rather yeah. see everything change. I really would. I, do I don't, too, I don't think anybody should have to feel like they're able to be abused just because they're gender or mm-hmm. have to be taken advantage of like oh yeah should, you, yeah it's oh my god yeah. not okay and, and then you look at the dark <laughs> side of things you look at the dark side of your brain and just think a long long time ago when movies and everything first started and these people were so like just like i'll do anything to be on a movie these creepy people went through the darkest sides of themselves and said i can get away with a lot of shit and that's yeah. what turned well, it you're into a child a actress or actor, a boy or girl, or your child, you're kind of, you have no, you have really no say so. You're kind of pushed in there by your parents. Mm. And when you, when, when they did, when they, when they say they, you have these executives come into these parents say, your kid's going to be the next fucking big star of the, of, 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 of Hollywood. And these parents are like, oh, okay. And, you know, they, all they, they see is, hey, my start, my son's going to be a star, blah, 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 or my daughter, whatever. They're not looking at, hey, there there's a price to this mm-hmm. yeah you know there's a price to everything there's being famous. literally like become enslaved just to become famous it's insane yeah they buy their catalogs and don't don't allow them to even have access to the stuff they've even created so. mm-hmm. taylor swift right didn't she exactly. have to re-record all of her songs yeah because yeah. the guy yeah. wanted a piece of the pie yeah and yeah. i'm not talking about her, her music yeah pretty messed up you could take someone's soul like that but you know yeah Weird. They should allow celebrities or anybody, any artist should have access to their work always. It should be theirs, not a recording label that could sell it off to the highest bidder. You know, that's yeah. that stuff needs to change. Like creative content needs to stay with the person that created it and the licensing. So yeah, kind of messed up. That whole system needs to change too. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> All right. So All right now, you okay? Go ahead. I was going to say this, the end is the part of it. If you or someone you know who has experienced any kind of sexual assault, you can call the National Sexual Assault Hotline at 1-800-656-HOPE. There you go. And if you or your loved ones have ever seen a spook spec, 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 specter or a ghost, <laughs> call Ghostbusters. <laughs> yeah. I just think, remember Unsolved Mysteries? If you or if anyone you know yeah. has any knowledge of the, oh, I love that at the end of there. You yeah. need Robert Stack's voice to say that, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Do, 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 do. Has anybody seen the newest reboot of M- Unsolved Mysteries? Mm, no. Has it, it even has a... like made it? Has it made it yet? To... No, but there was like so they brought it back with the one guy from uh, Running Scared. You know the uh-huh. the, the white haired guy. Uh, oh, let me pull it up real quick. I know his name. <laughs> What now I got the song stuck in my head. The song yeah. from Running Scared, the movie. No, not Running Scared. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Uh, it's not Running Scared. It's Midnight Run. Oh, oh you're thinking of like Billy Crystal. <laughs> that song, I love that song. <laughs> that is the most catchiest song ever made. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Major uh... League Two. That is what? What? Hold on. What's that? Who's it? that? Was Billy? No. What was his name? Who's just saying that? Doobie Brothers? No. Oh, I yes. Um. Yeah. I'm watching. Uh, my TV is flipping through the, the free the free movies and Major League Two with uh, Charlie Sheen. It popped up on there, and I'm like, oh, no. But I'm saying, um, what is it? The Hootie Kai. Um. Uh, that singer. Who who was that singer? Uh, that's. That Michael Michael McDowell, he was the Doobie Brothers. He was one of the Doobie Did, Brothers. Michael McDowell, that's his name. Okay. Yeah. So this guy He's... right here was the guy who. Uh, so they had a, a kind of a reboot of Unsolved Mysteries. I'm putting it in a hashtag general right now. So do you have you ever heard of Unsolved Mysteries, Dirks? Um. Yeah. All right. So this oh, guy, he played Joe, in the movie Snatch. Yes. Yeah, Dennis, like Dennis Farina. He's died. He's dead now, but um, oh, uh, he died at 69. Him. Yeah. But he looked 69? old. Ever he since. was young. Yeah, but he looked old ever since he hit 20. So. <laughs> but no, he was, yeah, we great, great guy. People. But he did Unsolved Mysteries after... You know, they rebooted it back up in the late 90s, early 2000s, and he did it. But, yeah, they're now rebooting it again. So, yeah. Did you know Disney writers wrote 
um, Ringo Starr's last big hit. What's his last big hit? You're 16, you're beautiful, and you're mine. Whoa, really? They mm-hmm. wrote that song? Didn't Elvis sing that song? Um, uh, so at first, actually, the first person to sing it was a person named Johnny Burnett. Um, uh-huh. And then he recorded it as a demo. And then pretty much it went to them and then went to everybody else. Huh. Mm-hmm. Disney wrote that? Yeah, Disney songwriters wrote Ringo Starr's final number one hit. The guys who wrote Supercalifragilistic wrote that. Yeah. Huh. Was that like moonlighting for them, writing songs and selling them on the side? Mm, Did Walt know about that? I don't know. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, by the way, we're saving up money because we want to go to the uh, Japanese um, Walt Disney World. For the Mario Land. Uh-huh. Oh my God. Have you oh, seen wow. that, man? That sounds uh, cool. They had yeah, uh, on, cool. on TikTok, they had people who've already been over there. And, like, dude, just the food alone, they have like the mushroom burger. And it looks like a mushroom. It's pretty cool. They have a lot of cool stuff over there. Huh. Mm hmm. I love Mario. I love the Super Mario family. They're cool. Where's this thing going to be? Is it in Mario. Japan, Paul? Mario Land? Sorry, I saw it wrong. Mario is, Land, is I think. Hold Mario? on. Mario Land um, Universal. There we go. Universal. Nice. It's uh, Universal announced Super Nintendo World will be open in F- Florida. What? Just the uh, just the Universal Celebrity and the Mario theme park. Uh, another one will be opening in Orlando. Oh, I'm so down for that. But I I also want to go to Japan yeah. though. That'd be fun. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It opens oh, up. It's killing me, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bail out, bro. No, it's fine. It's getting late anyway. Yeah. So, all right, everybody, thank you guys for coming on the show for this St. Patty's Day thing, and uh, <laughs> I hope everybody has a nice, safe St. Patty's Day out there.